Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE PE lesson, the third topic in Chapter 8, Skill Classification. As always, we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your exam, and today you need to be able to identify the different types of skills, understand that these skills can be placed on a continuum, and justify the choice of these skills with sporting examples. Classifying skills is important as it helps us to understand how a skill can be most effectively taught. Skills can be classified as either basic or complex, open or closed, and fine or gross, and we'll start by explaining each of these terms in order. On the most straightforward level, skills can be either basic or complex. Basic skills are simple skills such as throwing, catching, or running that require lower levels of concentration and coordination. Basic skills are typically taught first, as they need to be mastered before more complex skills can be attempted. Complex skills, by comparison, are more difficult skills that require higher levels of concentration and coordination. Complex skills take far longer to master, and they often include multiple subroutines. Examples include synchronized diving or a gymnastic vault, which combines several precise and technical movements. Skills can also be classified as open or closed. Open skills are skills that are affected by outside or environmental factors, such as the weather, pitch conditions, and even more importantly, the actions of opponents and teammates. Open skills are most obviously seen in team sports, where performers need to react and adjust to situations that are constantly changing. Closed skills, on the other hand, are unaffected by the environment or the performers in it. Decision making is often unnecessary and skills can be performed in the same way each time. Examples of closed skills include archery, swimming and shooting free throws in basketball. Finally, skills can be either fine or gross in nature. Fine skills involve precise movements that require high levels of accuracy and technique. They also tend to involve small muscle groups that control the fingers and wrists. Archery, snooker and serving in table tennis are great examples of fine skills. Conversely, gross skills use large muscle groups to produce large, powerful movements. Force production is more important than accuracy here, and examples include events such as the shot put or long jump. Now you may have already realized that very few skills can be classified as 100% open or closed, basic or complex, or fine or gross. As a result, we use continua, which allow us to place skills between each pair of extremes. We'll start with the basic complex continuum, and synchronized diving has been placed towards the complex end. This is because it's a difficult skill that takes a long time to master, requires high levels of concentration and coordination, and includes several subroutines or movements that must be skillfully combined. Archery can be found towards the closed end of our next continuum, as environmental influences are minimal. The scenario doesn't change from one arrow to the next, and the skill is performed almost the same way each time. It's not completely closed, however, as environmental changes such as the wind may influence how the skill is performed. Finally, we have a table tennis serve, which is largely fine. Spin serves require high levels of accuracy and technique, and small muscle groups are used to produce precise movements in the fingers and wrists. Now we've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.3, skill classification. Why not have a go now at drawing the three continua, placing some skills on each, and justifying your choices. As always, I hope you found this lesson useful, and I'll see you in the next one.